Hamilton smokers say warning labels on cigarette packages didn't make a difference to them, so messages on single cigarettes will have little impact. This as new Health Canada regulations take effect tomorrow. Jason Guidola joins us live tonight with the details. And Jason, this isn't just a first for Canada, this will be a first for the world. Yeah, that's right, Taz. But the regulations don't mean much to the smokers I spoke to today. However, according to experts, they believe the new messages are a necessary step to help prevent tobacco use, particularly with young people. No matter how many health warnings are on her pack of smokes, Alicia believes it'll take more than that to kick the habit. Thing. Either way, it's the same thing, because they have been seeing the label on the packet for their whole life, and they don't care about it. So Smokers will be seeing an additional caution starting tomorrow, but this time it will be a little message on the paper of their cigarettes. Smokers in downtown Hamilton are brushing off the new measure. To put uh, ink on the cigarette. So eventually you're going to be smoking ink. I don't pay attention to none of it, any of it at all. And I believe in it all. Regardless of what is on the label or on the cigarette, they'll smoke it anyways. The fresh set of Health Canada regulations will feature warnings in English and French, including ones like poison in every puff and cigarettes cause cancer, all featured near the filters. According to Canada's health minister, tobacco use still leads the country as the number one preventable cause of disease and premature death. Canada is the first country to take this step. Health officials and advocates say the messages are aimed at all smokers, but they really want to dissuade teens from picking up the habit. Young users typically start with experimenting, sharing with other friends, uh, taking from their parents. Um, so they don't often start with an actual full pack. Hamilton Public Health's Heather McCauley says more data is needed to see its long-term impact. However, Canada has a proven track record in curbing the drag with graphic labeling. We still see an elevated level, uh, specifically in the city of Hamilton, with um, some specific populations smoking more than others. However, um, there has been, uh, you know, a down, a downward trend. So we're making progress. Uh, but we have a, a lot more progress that remains. Canadian Cancer Society's Rob Cunningham says while there are efforts to stamp out young people using cigarettes, vaping products are another thing to look at. With respect to the addictiveness of vaping products, with respect to the health effects, I think that's going to be an opportunity that the government is going to be looking at in a future stage. It's not part of the, of the current stage. Cunningham says tax hikes, sales bans, and tougher messaging can bring down smoking rates. King size cigarettes will be the first to have the warnings and will be sold in stores starting tomorrow. Regular size cigarettes and little cigars will feature the new, new labels by April of next year.